Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Galagon Toys. We're going to be doing something a little bit different today. We're going to be going through uh, my Dragon Ball storage. Now, uh, it mainly consists of just some older Irwin and Jax figures. Now, I do have a pretty decent uh, collection of sort of all the characters that were available. So we're going to go through it. It's probably going to be a two, maybe three part video because we've got a bit to get through. So we will bring Freezer in here, our first one. Now quite a solid figure for the time. This guy came out in 2000. Uh, just, yeah, really nice. Even today still actually holds up pretty well for a Dragon Ball Z action figure. Uh, and as you'll see as we get into some more of them, the faces just do not hold up. Uh, the figure, that figure though, overall, I think holds up pretty well. But Vegeta here, uh, when we get to his face, you're going to see... Eh, it's not that bad. Uh, there's worse ones coming. Yeah, there's worse ones coming. So, nice little figure. I do like the battle damage uh, they put on him. I believe they also released him as a Super Saiyan um, figure. It was just the same figure with a Super Saiyan repaint. Here we've got the battle damaged Goku. Uh, this guy came in a two pack, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he came in a two pack with Raditz. He was always one of my favorites uh, when I was younger, just because of the battle damage and the look. Uh, the fact that he didn't have the boots, I always thought that was really cool. And yeah, he was always one of my favorites. He is, uh, part of his belt is broken off from excessive play when I was, I don't know, like 14, maybe 15, and still loved playing with uh, this guy and some of my other Dragon Ball figures. And uh, here we've got Tien Shinhan. Uh, I, he's also got a cape somewhere I've got, but uh, I don't like to display him with the cape. I think he looks better without it. And I'll just give you guys a quick look. And yeah, he's pretty, pretty cool. Not that bad. Uh, I would like to get the green tunic one, but... Uh, I'm not actively collecting these guys anymore, and he goes for a pretty penny, if I'm not mistaken. So here we have uh, Krillin. Uh, and he is from the Energy Blasting line. I believe they did a few different Energy Blasting lines. But overall, pretty nice figure. Colouring is uh, quite, quite nice. Sorry guys, doesn't want to focus for me for Krillin. Come on, there we go. Yeah, and I've one thing I will note is on some of these energy blasting ones, uh, the face is quite nice, like on that particular Krillin. Okay, now let's get to the next one. We're gonna have to unbag him. Okay, and this one is a Piccolo with an action feature. So let me just there we go. So yeah. <laughs> pretty uh pretty useless action feature but not a terrible looking figure he does look all right uh, for the time and yeah these action orientated ones tend to um, give off a better pot a better likeness sometimes uh, but that's just my opinion sometimes Sometimes. So here's Dende, uh, really, really nice figure. I think he still holds up quite well today, considering. And I think he'd still look alright on a shelf with your other Dragon Ball figures. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to the ones I've already opened, guys. So here we have uh, Vegeta. Now, this one is from later in the series, from just before he fuses with Goku. And I suppose just after he fuses with Goku. Uh, just before he gets wished back when during their fight with uh, Kid Buu. And here we've got Trunks from the end of Z. So this isn't Future Trunks. This is actually 
uh, young trunks grown up and dressed like a bit of a dork. But hey, it's Dragon Ball. I just never particularly liked that look. And since we're on him, and this one's within reach, now uh, we got Vegeta. Our man Vegeta in his uh, black leather jacket. Uh, this is one of my favourite figures of these, just because it's something different. It's Vegeta in casual clothes. And yeah, I just, I think it looks awesome. Uh, mine does, is a bit beat up, because I got him from a record store that sells action figures years and years and years ago. So he's a little bit beat up, but still one of my favourites. And here we've got an early, earlier Vegeta. Uh, I'm sure the face isn't too fantastic here. Uh, the hair's a bit brittle, I'm pretty sure. Yep, because uh, one of the spikes actually broke off on mine. Uh, just old age, just not the greatest plastic. But still a pretty solid figure. Uh, these were, you know, my only Dragon Ball collection. Uh, for quite a few years. Uh, anyone that follows the channel uh, and you've seen the rest of my collection, this is uh, where it all started for me was this sort of stuff. And then I used to collect a lot of everything else and then I just kind of moved on to higher end Dragon Ball and just stuck with that. Uh, because, admittedly, I didn't know there was so much amazing Dragon Ball stuff out there. So we've got Android 19 here. Uh, he's from, I think, the wave just before, or the same wave as Vegeta. And we've got uh, Majub here. Majub Oob here. Sorry, getting him mixed up with his him in GT. So, yeah, we've got Oob here. And that's actually a really solid figure, still looks really good. Damn, that actually might uh, sit alright in an SH Figure Arts shelf, or with some Dragon Stars, might actually have to try that out later. Uh, and we've got 17, and 17 I picked up secondhand, so he's missing the holster and the gun. And we got Jace here, and we're running out of room very quickly here. Jace is a cool figure, but as you can see, the face doesn't hold up the greatest. <laughs> he lo he looks a bit funny, but like the figure, the figure's cool. Um, like that's the one thing we all have to remind ourselves is these figures are from a time before they really got um, before they could really really nail faces. But, sometimes they got it right, like, look at this Android 19. Like, he he looks looks perfect to me. To me, that is a perfect representation of Android 19. So yes, some of these guys are really, really good. But then we get to ones like Gotenks here. And, uh... Not, not the worst, but front on it just it it just doesn't look <laughs> it just doesn't look right to me uh, but anyway let's move it along okay so this guy here is one of my favorites this is another uh, action come on focus focus there we go so this is another action feature uh, figure like the piccolo uh, but this Krillin is quite cool. I love the face and just the overall aesthetic. It's just a cool looking figure. I like having a figure of Krillin in his battle armor. That's just just cool. And here we've got uh, Kibito. That's a cool figure. Nicely detailed. Okay. Now we are running out of room here, guys. So I'm debating whether to move the rest into another video yeah i think i think we're gonna wrap this up with the next couple guys and we'll put the rest 
into part two and part three and maybe part four depending because yeah we've got a bit left in this box to go and still a few on the table so second form cell really really nice figure uh, one of my absolute favorites when I actually was looking through the box to do the review uh, before while I was getting ready for the review uh, review sorry video not a bloody review dickhead uh, sorry guys um, I was looking at this guy and thinking he'd go really well with the SH Fig Arts um, Super Vegeta yeah just Vegeta pounding him into into oblivion uh, and he's quite poseable and he does have a bendable tail and if you guys caught my last video which was a review of the Red Goblin uh, you will have uh, noticed me mentioning that they didn't uh, add any bendable wire or anything with that. But yeah, he's got quite good articulation, so you could probably get away with maybe just putting him into a pose where he's getting pounded by Vegeta into the air. Yeah, I might actually try that later, because yeah, he's definitely one of my favourites. Uh, definitely one of the harder ones to come by uh, in terms of rarity. He is quite rare. A f quite a few of the ones I have are rare, uh, but most of the ones you see in front of you are fairly common and can be picked up at a fairly reasonable price. And I'll be honest, I don't think there's a lot of people collecting these guys anymore. You know, like, there's just so much better stuff out there. Um, and if you're patient, you can pick a lot of the stuff up. So, like I was saying earlier in the video, guys, a lot of the more detailed figures are the ones that uh, don't uh, have a whole heap of articulation, but are actual energy blasting ones. So this is a really nice representation of Gohan in his Saiyan battle armor, and I always thought he looked pretty good with this Krillin. Um, even though they are from completely different lines, but that Gohan is still one of my favorites Okay, so I think we'll do two more and then we'll wrap it up guys So here we have the margin Vegeta. This was the first release now I've got the second one here, so we'll get to that just after this so nice representation of Vegeta but unfortunately, they made it Margin Vegeta. Uh, this was a misprint sort of figure, because they did end up re-releasing it as Super Saiyan. So originally it was released as Margin Vegeta, but they stuffed up the hair. Uh, so then we got a re-release later on down the line. Of him... Super Saiyan margin, which is exactly the same figure, just with the Super Saiyan hair like he was originally intended to have. Okay guys, so I think we'll wrap this this part up for now, because we've uh, we've got quite a bit to get through uh, for the next one, and I don't really have much more space left on the review stand for you guys to uh, for you guys to actually see so i'll wrap it up for now guys and we will catch you in part two and thank you for joining me bye for now